The Colts are a terrible team. I'm really <laughs> curious to see what happens with this team in the offseason, who their yeah. coach is, who their quarterback is. I feel like they're starting from scratch. Like I, they've really got nothing at this point. We think their offensive line is great. And last night they couldn't get two feet. You know, their defense really held it together. But in the end, they still gave up a lot of points and to a Chargers team that has been very inconsistent this year. So I don't want to bet the Giants is five point favorites at home. Now, the interesting thing about the line thing is like we were I mean, I was definitely on it. You can even go back and listen. I think we did a uh, shit, man. It might have been like a week one preview in like May. We we're giving our week one bets. And I literally talked about in that show the fact that there was all these questions coming into the year of that Colts left side of their offensive line. And we've seen it this year. I mean, they give up lots of pressures. They're just not the same team they were. They don't have that foundational offensive line that just, you know, scares everyone. Yeah, the right side's really strong, but clearly there's there's a big weakness on that O-line. But the Colts team, if this was week seven, auto bet, no doubt, slant, smashing the Colts. But this is the time of year where teams just simply quit. And if you don't have a good leader in the house, they will give up on that leader. And we saw last year with the Giants. The Giants end of the year were dreadful. Every week, I know really smart groups that were hammering the Giants because they were getting three points of value, tons of value on a Giants team to their number. But the reason they were getting so much value is because that team had quit and they got caught with that. So I'm not getting caught here. Like, I, I bet Giants a minus three. It took them a three and a half. It's, it's steamed up now to five. And if it's Nick Foles, Chad, I could be talking to taking – this Giants team at that number just because they're at home with that defense against a Colts team that just I mean they seem to quit it's like the Broncos I mean the Broncos fired their head coach because that team straight up quit on him so um don't think they'll fire Saturday even better like they're gonna keep the guy there that all these guys don't like apparently so um hilarious I mean you look at those he won that one game was that the first game he coached he won yeah first game uh and Jim Irsay, you know, came out puffing his chest, talking shit to people, saying, like, how could you say this about me? How could you doubt us? All we care about is winning. Just win, baby. Whatever the hell he tweeted. He looks like an idiot. Like, they've lost five straight or six straight now. So, um, can't do it. I know all the value is on the Colts. Don't care. If you move it up to seven, I'll start thinking about the Colts. But six, six and a half, I'd still take this Giants team at this point. 